All right, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be learning about symmetry using bugs. So let's get going. Okay, so let's look at a couple examples that I have over here. Uh, so these are some sheets that I've used in the past, and then this handout is what I normally pass out to you guys. So you guys can have a little bit of a reference to look at. And I don't know why I slurred my speech right there. I guess I need to drink more coffee. But anyways, here's some examples of half bugs that symmetry works with. So we got a bee, there's two different types of butterflies, a spider, a beetle, an ant. And there's a couple examples up here where symmetry works with other shapes and letters too, and numbers in this case. So we have a heart, hearts are symmetrical, star, a star is symmetrical, an A is symmetrical, and the number eight is symmetrical. So basically, if you were to draw a B on one side and then try to copy the exact same thing, but opposite of that line, uh, it'll turn out to be a whole B. So let's take a look at a couple examples I have over here. This is, a spider. So again, if I hold, fold paper in half, actually not, I'll fold this way actually so you guys can see better. Here's half a spider, and if I draw the other side, it turns into a whole spider. Let's try another one. There's a simple butterfly, fold in half, either way, like this. So if I drew the other half, it becomes a full butterfly. Here's some more examples that I've done in the past as well. Here's a couple printouts that I've found online. So over here we got a beetle, a cricket, a butterfly, a ladybug, a wasp, a scorpion, another spider, and a bee. Um, so those are some common bugs that people have done. I tried to draw you guys as best of my ability some bugs have done before. People have done before, sorry. And here's a bee, one of my favorite uh, insects. So there's the bee, it's really cool. So let's just put these aside, but I'm going to keep the symmetry bug worksheet or symmetry bug handout to the side so we can see it. So for this project, what you're going to need is a blank sheet of paper, preferably not attached to a sketchbook like how mine is, but I'll show you guys how it works if, you, if it is attached. And then I'm going to be using uh, some other materials that might work in our advantage. Uh, if you have oil pastels at home, uh, that's probably best and it'll work better than anything. But I'm going to try to use materials that people will probably have at home, such as crayons and some other stuff like that. So anyways, let's go over how this works. So the first step, you're gonna fold your paper hot dog style, just like this. You're gonna crease it as best you can. Once you crease it, you're gonna open it up. This line right here, when you open it up, this is called the line of symmetry. Basically anything beyond this line is gonna be mirrored on the other side. So what I like to do, I like to draw a, a light pencil line going right across that way um, I can clearly see where my line of symmetry is there we go all right so now what I want to do is if I want to make a bug and I want to make it symmetrical I just need to draw half the bug right now so what I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do it in hmm let's see uh, like again like I said pastels normally work best uh, but uh, what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna do it in a marker uh, but in, during the school year, I normally have you guys do it in pencil just in case you guys make a mistake. And we'll go from there. So why don't I make my bug of my choice? I think I'm going to make a B. So I'm going to go with the first one right there. And we'll see how it goes. So the B has a couple shapes to make note of. Um, I'm going to do the eye first. So there's an eye on this side, right? And then there is the head. So I'm going to do half the head, right? I'm going to connect it over here. Make sure it's a little bit straighter. There we go. And then the body. The body is nice and chubby and round. Here we go. Woo. The stinger. And again, I'm going to draw half a stinger. And then I'm going to draw one stripe in the middle. So two lines. One, two. And I'm going to do, uh, looks like there's an antenna. Maybe I'll put it right there. And then two wings. Why don't I add one wing over here? And then the other wing right here. All right, I know it's hard for you guys to see on camera because I am doing it in pencil. Like I said, that's why I always like to do it in marker uh, for you guys in particular. That way you guys can see it. Hmm, for the inside of the wings, maybe I'll do some veins. Here we go. Random veins like that. And then more on this side as well. There we are. A bee. All right, so now 
Um, again, like I said, oil pastels works best with this project. I'm gonna see how it works with crayon. It might or might not work, so we'll see how it goes. So here we go. So I'm gonna use, um, for the whole entire thing, I'm gonna be using a black crayon. And I think that will be my best bets. And then I'm gonna make sure I have something to press down with, maybe like a marker of some sort. Uh, I think this will work great, and uh, just no matter what color. And I'll show you guys what this is used for uh, once I'm done. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna trace the whole entire B using a crayon. So a crayon is very important because it's made out of wax, and it'll be our agent or it'll be our material to help us transfer the drawing to the other side of the paper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw my outline of a pencil with this crayon as best as I can. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back again and draw everything all over again. So let me explain. All right, I drew everything in black crayon so what I just said is I'm going to do it over again. So what I mean by that, I'm going to go the exact same side and do it all over again. The reason why I'm doing this is because I really want there to be a lot of wax, which basically the crayon's made out of, on this side of the paper. That way when I fold it and I press hard with my marker while it's folded, hopefully it'll transfer over to the other side of the paper. And again, now you, kind of, you guys probably understand why uh, oil pastels will probably work better because oil pastels are very very sticky and that's what normally we would use in the classroom but since we're not in the classroom you and me are going to discover if crayon works or not so hopefully it does otherwise this project is shot but I have hope that this technique will work so I just drew it uh, once if you want to go back three times that's great uh, so I'm going to put this crayon away and I'm gonna see if it works. So what I'm gonna do, I drew half a B, like I said. I'm gonna fold my paper in half, and then I can kind of see the B a little bit from my perspective. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my marker, I'm gonna keep it closed, and again, any marker works, okay? We're just gonna be making sure that we have a tool to help us press down on the paper. So it doesn't matter which marker you use. And then what I'm gonna do, hold the paper really nice and steady, and I'm gonna start rubbing it. Okay, just like this. So again, marker's closed. Don't need the marker at all. We just need it because it's pointy and it's like a stick and uh, it doesn't like come off on the paper when the mark cap is closed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just rubbing where the parts of where the crayon is and it's a lot easier if you guys can see through the paper because if you guys can see through the paper, you guys can know where to rub and you wanna press really hard. Okay. Now, uh, I'm gonna test something out. I'm gonna move my paper this way. And then, before I open it, I'm gonna try to flip it over and rub in those exact same spots where I think the crayon is. And it might help the wax crayon, like a normal crayon, it might help the normal crayon transfer over to the other side a tad bit better. And again, I'm only gonna do half the B just so you guys can see that if it's transferring well or not. So let me just do the veins here. And then finally the wing. And I'm hoping it worked. So let's take a look. All right, you guys ready? Here I go, I'm gonna open it up. Hopefully it transferred over. And it did! Yes! All right, so as you can see, the crayon did transfer over pretty good. And um, it didn't complete all the way. So the parts that didn't complete, does it, it does it just means that I didn't rub hard enough on those sections but you don't have to go back and uh, do that if you want I've seen people go back with that exact same crayon and while it's folded open you can kind of just finish off what got transferred over so you don't have to press really hard all day all afternoon and pressing really hard until you get a perfect uh, perfect symmetrical transfer over uh, just take the crayon that you just had and just finish it off so now I know at least where everything is so I can finish off the head and ta-da, boom, head is completely symmetrical. Over here, at least I know where it's connected, ta-da, see, this one I know where that is and there we go. So now I can finish the body a little bit. I can only go up to there because even though I kind of know where it is over here, 
I don't want to take a random guess because I don't want it to be really off. So I'm just going to wait until I press that side. So I can at least do this wing, right? And there we go. If you want to press twice, that's fine. All right, so now all I gotta do is rub the bottom wing and the stinger and the bottom half of the body, and then I should be done. So let's do that real quick. And again, any marker works. So let's just do this half of the body right there. Let's do this wing. I can see the wing. So again, if you guys can see through the paper, great. Uh, just be very gentle. Sometimes people rip the paper. You don't wanna push too hard. There we go. And then the stinger. All right, and then to make it better, I'm going to make sure I flip the paper over again and then try to get it on the other side as well. All right, this will definitely transfer over, I bet, because I'm pressing super hard and I'm making sure I get those sections of what I need so I understand where everything is. All right, there we go. Let's see. Oh, perfect. Great, so now I can go back with my black crayon and finish everything off. There we go. So here is my symmetrical B, just like this. That's pretty good, right? I agree. Ta-da! Symmetrical B. All I gotta do now is decorate it and that'll be good to go. So anyways, um, that's how you do symmetry. If you wanna erase the middle, you can. I'm gonna use, let's see, where did, where did I put it? Here it is. I'm gonna use my eraser to get rid of my line of symmetry. Let's get rid of the evidence. There we go. All right, so now I can start coloring normally if I'd like. So I'll do that right now. <laughs> Let me make my wings. You don't have to color it normally like how I do. Um, this project used to be with just patterns entirely, but um, you can do any way you want when it comes to this project for remote learning. It doesn't matter how you color it. So if you don't want to do patterns, you don't have to. But um, for me, I might do patterns. I don't know yet. All right, why don't I do the stinger with a gray? And why don't I make a cool pattern? Maybe I'll do like a V pattern. That'd be kind of cool. Like that. And I can color in in between each of them. Makes a cool pattern. That'd be kind of cool, right? Maybe for the eyes, I will do, hmm. I'll keep them black. I'll use a black marker instead though. And I'll leave a space for white, just to make it look sh kinda shiny and cool. There we are. All right, uh, let's use that black crayon once more for the middle stripe. Cause I don't wanna waste my marker. It's a nice black marker, so I'm just gonna use crayon instead. Okay, and then we all know that bees are yellow. If you don't want to do yellow bees, you don't have to. Here we go. This part of the bee is yellow, and this part of the bee is yellow. And then for the head, I think I might make it a little more interesting. Why don't I do a silver for the head? But then I think I might leave the antennas blank. All right, ta-da! My symmetry bug is done. I can't believe that worked. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sure I did. I had fun doing it. And make sure you guys show me what you guys have done. If you guys want to email me at bmill at s 3308org you guys can mail me a copy of a picture of what you've done. Otherwise, keep it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.